good evening my dear friends our today's topic is rh negative pregnancy and i am very thankful for all doctors those who are attending my lecture and thankful for those who are watching this online video i hope this video will help you rh negative pregnancy so my dear friends rh negative pregnancy i want to explain you when rh negative mother and rh negative father and baby born rh negative no problem no problem when rh negative mother and rh positive is father and they give a birth of rh positive baby then it causes sometimes the rh pregnancy okay so see rh negative mother rh positive father and rh positive fetus when the rh positive fetus born only 0.1 ml blood is sufficient for sensitization and when it enters in a mother then it create igm immunoglobulin m that is in acute phase how it uh, enters in fetus circulation to mother circulation these factors include like lower segment cesarean section miscarriage abortion um, ectopic pregnancy external cephalic version abrupt shock placenta and placenta previa because in that time there is sometimes a blood loss or some bleeding and that's why some blood from fetus to mother enters only 0.1 ml is sensitized and if it enter it create igm so in first in first case first delivery first pregnancy in first pregnancy there is no risk factor because igm not crosses the placenta it does not cross the placenta but in second pregnancy in second pregnancy igg antibodies develop which can cross the placenta and damage the fetus how the most common presentation which i represent here like ictrus gravis neonatrum so my dear friends how we identify in a fetus sometimes Uh, if he born um, uh, jaundice less than 24 hour and carnitrus the bilirubin level is more than 20 and hydrops fetalis symptoms develop on x ray buddha position we see buddha position why we see because there is a cerebral edema which i wrote here already and sometimes it causes anemia erythropoiesis and uh, Uh, there is a breakdown of rbcs and lot of bilirubin unconjugated changes into and it causes the hepatosplenomegaly portal hypertension and constriction vessel constrictions and the pressure vessels increases causes hypertension and it causes the heart failure and finally the death of fetus also so my dear friends but we have only risk factor in second pregnancy only do you think only second pregnancy this is risk factor no my dear friends in first pregnancy also there is a risk factor there is a risk factor here in first pregnancy because in first pregnancy if mother is already transfused with rh positive blood group maybe wrongly so if she is rh negative and maybe due to some incidence she Or Rh positive blood, so already she has the antibodies, and her fetus is raised in a first pregnancy to develop Rh incompatibility. Okay, so my dear friends, how to diagnose? We are going to diagnose by indirect Coombs test. If indirect Coombs test is positive in mother, in mother indirect Coombs test is positive, then we no need to give anti D Rh immunoglobulin G. antibodies to the mother because she already have antibodies against him antigen if indirect coom test is negative then we need to give anti d to a mother at a 28 weeks and the dose is 300 micrograms if she uh, due to any reason going to terminate her pregnancy before first trimester then she need to give only 50 microgram of anti d 
In fetus, we can diagnose anemia by Doppler medial cerebral artery. Medial communicating artery shows the anemia, but in ductus venosus Doppler, if we see, we show the cardiac anomaly. We can do such a investigation by uh, aminosynthesis also, uh, but uh, that is invasive procedure and a risk of um, uh, damaging, uh, like risk factor for having a Rh negative antibody development and the blood transfusion. Mother blood goes some little. That's why we are going to do sometime these tests also. Doppler MCA for anemia, Doppler DV, ductus venosus shows cardiac anomalies. So, my dear friends, I already explained these things. Indirect comb test already. And Lily's graph that is very, very important here. That Lily's graph is very important. We know zone 1, zone 2, and zone 3. Zone 1 resembles here, right? Like zone 1. If we see, this is John 1 and uh, John 1 there is mm, mild and uh, no uh, severity of this disease. So there is no treatment requirement and repeat 4 weeks amniocentesis every 4 weeks. But in John 2 that is some moderate pro phenomena, hematocrit level less than 30, less than 30. It indicates we can repeat amniocentesis every one or two weeks till 15 days, but we have to give intrauterine transfusion to a fetus to a fetus because he has less than 30 hematocrit level. But in John 3, there is never be so we think it's John 2. I already explained, and this one is John 3, danger zone. If we are not going to treat this baby going to die within 10 days, coming 10 days. So here, if the hematocrit level is also less than 30, so we are going to continue the pregnancy and we can do the intrauterine transfusion also, but not for termination of pregnancy because we have to wait for 34 weeks. Some cases, some cases, not in all, we have to see, not, uh, okay. But in John 3, if she uh, baby is already 34 weeks, so we can deliver a baby. How do you think when a baby is viable? Baby is viable on 28 weeks. So we can deliver a baby after 28 weeks also. There is a no problem. So we have to uh, rule out and we have to check everything. So my dear friends, I hope you understand this and I have last one question for you. Uh, that's uh, if a fetus born with a disease of ABO incompatibility and RH incompatibility, do you think, do you think uh, is the fetus going to be uh, get uh, harm severely? I think no. I'm going to explain you why no. Because ABO incompatibility and RH negative pregnancy with RH positive fetus and these antibodies which develops in mother and these uh, ABO incompatibility they react with each other and they kill by their own. So my dear friends that's all. Uh, my lecture so most important questions uh, earlier they asked which I remember I will explain you some questions uh, in uh, aims they ask uh, some question or um, like uh, when we need to give NTD NTD we are giving only when the indirect comb test is negative so simple answer and sometimes they ask when we need to uh, give NTD at 28 weeks what was the dose of NTD, it's 300 micrograms. So such questions. And which pregnancy is harmful in RH negative pregnancy? If RH positive fetus, it's second pregnancy. But first pregnancy also be uh, harmful uh, in fetus if mother is already transfused the blood. But in ABO incompatibility, there is a first pregnancy is harmful. And uh, such questions uh, like risk factor, they ask. Uh, and what was the most common presentation in RH negative pregnancies, actress, gravis neonatrum, these questions. In hydroxytalis also, they ask what kind of condition we see. 
and x-ray what we see buddha position which i represent in john one there is requirement of treatment or no or no treatment requirement but repeat amniocentesis every four weeks such questions such a simple question they like to ask so my dear friends i hope you understand my video and this video will help you if you have any query any question you can ask me and you can put a comment on my uh, video and if you like put uh, like and if you want to subscribe please subscribe my videos and i am going to be very glad if uh, uh, this video you will understand properly okay good night my dear friends have a good day and goodbye that's all